Hey, how are you? So, what's wrong with you that made you want to come to therapy? I don't enjoy life at all. Do you feel depressed? No, it's much worse than that. How long has this been going on? Ever since I can remember. Well, a common reason why people feel bad is because their expectations of what their life should be like doesn't match the reality of what their life is. Would it be okay with you if we explored that? Yeah, I guess. What's the biggest thing you thought you'd have in life that would bring you joy at this point, but you don't have? Kids. I really want kids, but I don't have any. Well, I understand that's tough, but you've got plenty of time. If it's just that you haven't found the right partner yet, I'm sure she's out there. No, I, I'm never having kids. Well, that's not really the best attitude to have. No, I can't have kids. Oh, you can't. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it some sort of genetic condition? No. Oh, well, what is it? My parents let me go on puberty blockers when I was 14, and spoiler alert, now I can't have kids. Why'd your parents put you on puberty blockers? Well, I went through a phase of thinking I'm someone who I'm not, and they didn't even offer me any paths of self-exploration, just Straight to puberty blockers, they offered no resistance. Now looking back, it seems kind of weird. I mean, their parents didn't even let them stay up late to watch TV, but they let me go straight to puberty blockers? Yeah, that's a little weird. How long were you on them? About four years. I had to wait till I was 18 before I could go off those things. What do you mean? Yeah, I was over the whole transition thing about two weeks into it, but they made me stick with it. They thought it'd be good for me. You know, a good life lesson, I guess. So they made me wait till I was a legal adult before they thought I was mature enough to make decisions like that for myself. To stop the blockers? Yeah, they were good parents. Okay, and after all that, and I'm sorry to have to ask, but are you a man or a woman? Well, sort of neither. Well, aside from kids that you're definitely not gonna have, when you think of yourself, what are the thoughts that run through your mind about you? I'm an evil, horrible person. Have you ever done anything evil? No, I, I would never do anything evil. Then why is it you think of yourself as evil? It's just what they taught me in school. Did you go to public school? Yeah, how'd you know? Just a hunch. Did you have black kids in your class? Yeah. What'd they teach them? That they never meant anything. Teachers know best. They just somehow know these things. I couldn't see them on my own and probably never would if they didn't teach them to me. Now I notice you haven't made eye contact with me even once this whole time, but connection's a major source of joy in life. Would you be willing to look me in the eyes for a moment? Those aren't my eyes, they're up here. Those are my knees. Uh, it I don't know what you mean. My eyes are up here. You just can't do it, can you? It looks like you suffer from a severe inability to connect. Now, with this degree of it, we usually see this in people who were unfortunately abandoned at birth as a coping mechanism. And I know you mentioned your parents earlier, but are you sure you weren't abandoned at birth? Definitely not. Were you ever isolated for prolonged periods of time? No. Did you ever go through prolonged periods of time of not seeing people's faces? No, nothing prolonged. There was just a short phase from the time I was three years old till six years old where I didn't see anyone's face. But aside from that, nothing like that ever happened. Did your parents eventually start feeding you crickets and watch the news a lot? Every night. Makes sense. When it comes to human connection, did your mother and father hold you a lot when you were little? I never had a mother or a father. So you were an orphan? No, not at all. I just never had a mother or a father. What do you mean? Well, one of my parents was identified as birthing person and the other was identified as non-birthing person. How was that? They told me it was very good for me. As a young kid, it's like having no ground beneath your feet. You don't know which way's up and which way's down. It keeps you very free to be yourself. And then when you were 14, you tried to change who yourself was? Indeed. But now I'm somehow so unhappy. 
Okay. What do you think is going on with me? Well, based on the developmental patterns you have, and then we look at the diagnostics of it, you're a sociopath. Is there anything we can do about it? I think I speak for my entire profession when I say we don't know how to help you. But, good luck. That's the 10th client this week.